Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubus here, and welcome to my advanced underground house tutorial. I'll show you how to build this awesome underground house, furnish it fully, and yeah, let's get started. Alright, so for your underground base, you're going to need the materials on my hotbar, and start out by taking a 5 by 4 high room. So it's a 5 by 5 room, and then it's 4 high. So once you get that done, just go ahead and replace everything, including the ceiling, but the floor will just be stone brick like this but everything else will be wood as in the walls and the ceilings to so do that and then once it is done it should look something like this now grab some ladder and of course one of these sides is going to be where your up and down entrance is so I'm just going to throw the ladder down here and I made sort of a cool entrance up here with some stairs and whatnot. So it looks something like that. If you'd like to copy it, you can. All right. And let's go down here. So this is going to be sort of the hub room. So we're going to put some logs in the corners. And I'm going to throw a piece of glowstone down in the floor so you guys can see. Keep in mind that it's not part of the house. Although we will have some cool lighting here. And now that we have sort of the hub room built, we are going to put that back. And you can do some sort of lighting over here behind the... Um, the ladder if you'd like. I'm going to do some glowstone right here and I'm going to put some trap doors over it and I'm going to make it three high and you can just put trap doors over your glowstone and I might as well reach all the way to the top. Why not? And you can hide it with bushes or anything but I'm gonna go ahead and just do trap doors there and let's make this room be the sort of enchanting room this room be the crafting furnace and bedroom so this is enchanting bed and farm room so let's get started so the enchanting room obviously you're going to need an enchanting table some books and everything else you're going to need some slabs too of oak or whatever sort of wood you're using and let's just make a cool doorway here so let's just go ahead and dig out a three by three thing like this put some stairs there and let's go ahead and map out the room. So keep in mind that, I'm just gonna put some lighting here, that for a room like this, it's going to need a one space be like this. So just dig out a room big enough for your enchanting table. Keep in mind, put the corners in here. If you're on the pocket edition, I would just ignore this. And I mean, you can watch, but obviously you guys don't have enchanting yet. You will soon though, don't worry. And let's just do something like that. And then around the rim of here, even though you can't, s it technically won't work. We're going to do something like this. We're going to put a log there, a log there. But then up here, we're just going to do trap doors. Just sort of some covered lighting that you won't be able to see perfectly from above. And then, of course, um, on your roof, you don't want to have it being, you know, the blocks. Go ahead and replace them real quick. Like this. And you have a wood ceiling, and it's nice and bright in here. And, of course, for the floor, you want to do whatever sort of flooring you're doing. Except for under the enchantment table, I'm going to go ahead and throw a piece of glowstone there. And I'm going to do a cool little layered floor here. So we're just going to put some slabs all around here, and then something like that. And, of course, if you don't want those showing, you can put logs there. I'm going to go ahead and just do bookshelves, just so it kind of fits with the pattern more. Of course, if you're trying to conserve on bookshelves, you don't have to do that, but it looks nice. So there we go, we have the enchanting room. Let's move on to the bedroom. So I've just grabbed some materials here and let's go ahead and copy the sort of entrance we did over here. So something like that. And of course the bedroom, since it is your room, is going to be a little bit bigger. Did forget to grab some stone brick here. So we can just take this real quick and extend it out. And let's dig out a, this is already three, so this would be five. Let's do another five by five room. So I'm just gonna do that. Dig it out, five by five by four. Of course, I'm just going to dig all of this out and come right back. And there we go. So let's actually grab a bed here and let's do some cool bed design here. And let's actually grab some glass too. And we can just kind of move all these materials over and let's do some glowstone lighting. So I, I really like to build these cool glowstone lights. We're gonna put three pieces of glowstone here. We're going to put a stair in this corner. Well, not like that, in this corner, like this. And we're gonna repeat that pattern and then we're gonna fill in where you can see with glowstone. 
and then we're going to go ahead and place glass right here and it gives a really nice glowstone light and if you'd like it to fit a little bit better of course you could do this and then put a glowstone up here of course you don't want to remove that so it kind of fits with the ceiling better and then of course you want to put it up there and this is stone bricks we're going to put that there and glass and there you go you have a cool little light so you could do your bed right there do kind of the master bed type thing you could do a pot right here with a flower in it something like that I'm not actually gonna do that we're gonna do some furnaces here some furnaces here give a lot of bit of a lot, yes give a lot of bit of furnaces and something I did forget was to put the logs in the corners always have your logs in the corners so that way your room doesn't collapse in on you and kill you never a good thing and now that we have those done, we're going to do over here some furnaces. So we're just going to break out this entire wall and do an entire wall of furnaces. Hey, why not? And then we're going to do some chests and crafting tables. So we can just do chests right here. And how you can make it actually access the top chest, just put some slabs there because technically they're not a solid block, thus allowing the chest to open. And let's just go ahead and change how the bed is. Let's put the bed right there and we can do maybe a pot right there yeah that'll look a lot better and just a blue orchid and place it in there looks kind of nice and then we can do a crafting table here maybe another shelf maybe another shelf and another pot like this and then you could do any other kind of flower I'm gonna pick an oxi daisy it looks nice and yeah that's your bedroom let's get started on the next room so I've kind of noticed in the lobby sort of area, it's pretty dark, dark, not dark, dark in here. So we're, we're just going to put some torches over here. Uh, these do not provide the most light, the glowstone, but it's nice to have a little bit of extra lighting in here so mobs do not spawn. And the same could be said for in this room, so we can just do some lights in here, whatever. And yeah, let's get on to the farm. So the farm is going to be, of course, the same sort of area, nothing too different. We're actually going to do a little bit of a... Maybe a bigger room, I don't know. Let's actually just go for the same 5x5 five five room. So let's just do that here. I don't really need to show me doing this again, do I? Uh, no, I do not. So we, we've dug out a 5x5 five five room here. We've put the oak supports in the center. Everything is done. So now let's just figure out what we're going to do down here. So you can just use dirt. I'm going to just put... Uh, well, I'm just going to put dirt too. And we're going to start off by putting the dirt here, and we're going to replace the whole entire floor with dirt. And again, this is sort of the farm, greenhouse e room. It doesn't have to be completely a greenhouse. And what you could do is you could dig all the way up to the surface if you're closer. Of course, I'm not very close to the surface. And you could do a skylight. I'm just going to leave it sort of underground-esque. And we are going to grab some glass and everything. We're going to make some cool lights on the sides. Let's do some lights right here. So we're actually just going to mark them out, put the glowstone there, and we're just going to do maybe a simple little, nothing too fancy, just some stairs that are upside down like this. And of course we will fill in the glowstone where we can see the dirt and whatnot. So right there and there. Don't want to leave that open. I think I missed one there. Yes, I did. And by the way guys, if you're watching this and you really like the tutorial, you should subscribe to my channel because I do do a lot of tutorials like this. I just said doo-doo. Anyways, yeah, I do a lot of tutorials that are very similar to this one. And yeah, let's see if we can break 500 likes. I don't think that should be too hard. You guys are awesome, right? So we're going to grab some water here and a hoe. And we're going to put the water in the middle. Uh, that does look really pretty. So unrealistic, but really pretty. And let's actually do a slab on top. Of the water that way you can't really walk on it and let's just go ahead and turn all of this into wheat and something you guys might see is you can kind of see the stone under there it's probably really hard to see it but I'm gonna go ahead and just sort of correct that that is so tedious to do but yeah 500 likes on one video I don't even think I've ever gotten that high on a video like when it was just uploaded so if you guys could do that and show me how awesome you guys are that would be awesome like, I really just want to see how many of you out there actually are, like, you know, participating on my videos. Uh, and yeah, you guys should leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think of the house so far. It's almost done, of course. 
And let's just hoe the rest of this. And then let's do some seeds. And we're gonna need some bone meal. If you don't have it available, you don't have to use it. And let's just go ahead and plant everything here. And I also figure, since we do have sort of an enchanting room, we might as well do a anvil somewhere. I'm not really sure where yet, but that looks nice. I really like that. Uh, we should do an anvil somewhere, so let's just go ahead and grab an anvil. Let's see, where could we put it? Maybe over here on the shelf? I like it. That's actually kind of cool. Alright. So yeah, if you guys liked the video, go ahead and leave a like, leave a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, I do do a lot of tutorials like this. And you can subscribe and you'll get notified when I upload. Go ahead and check out my previous videos. I have a couple of other underground houses and I have a lot of other houses like this. So if you guys like this build specifically, you'll probably like my other builds. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Link to my Twitter is in the description below. You can tweet me your pics of these builds, this build, or any of my builds. And even any of your builds and I will retweet them, favorite them, and reply. All that fancy stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Remember to break 500 likes. Bye.